how to preprocess pairs of sentences. We have seen how to tokenize single sentences and patch them together in the Patch Inputs to Covers video. If this code looks unfamiliar to you, be sure to check that video again. Here we'll focus on tasks that classify pairs of sentences. For instance, we may want to classify whether two texts are paraphrases or not. Here is an example taken from the Quora Question Pairs dataset, which focuses on identifying duplicate questions. In the first pair, the two questions are duplicates. In the second, they are not. Another pair classification problem is when we want to know if two sentences are logically related or not, a problem called Natural Language Inference, or NLI. In this example taken from the multi-NLI dataset, we have a pair of sentences for each possible label, contradiction, neutral, or entailment, which is a fancy way of saying the first sentence implies the second. So classifying pairs of sentences is a problem worth studying. In fact, in the Clue benchmark, which is an academic benchmark for text classification, 8 of the 10 datasets are focused on tasks using pairs of sentences. That's why models like BERT are often pre-trained with a dual objective. On top of the language modeling objective, they often have an objective related to sentence pairs. For instance, during pre-training, BERT is shown pairs of sentences and must predict both the value of randomly masked tokens and whether the second sentence follows from the first or not. Fortunately, the tokenizer from the Transformer library has a nice API to deal with pairs of sentences. You just have to pass them as two arguments to the tokenizer. On top of the input IDs and the attention mask we studied already, it returns a new field called token type IDs, which tells the model which tokens belong to the first sentence and which ones belong to the second sentence. Zooming in a little bit, here are the input IDs aligned with the tokens they correspond to, their respective token type ID and attention mask. We can see the tokenizer also added special tokens. So we have a CLS token, the tokens from the first sentence, a SEP token, the tokens from the second sentence, and a final SEP token. If we have several pairs of sentences, we can tokenize them together by passing the list of first sentences, then the list of second sentences, and all the keyword arguments we studied already, like padding equal true. Zooming in at the result, we can see how the tokenizer added padding to the second pair of sentences to make the two outputs the same length and properly dealt with token type IDs and attention masks for the two sentences. This is then all ready to pass through a model 